some of these quarterbacks nowadays that come in and they get thrown to the wolves, Rich. They're high draft choices. The bus station's full of them. Mm-hmm. They're high draft choices. The expectations are up. The fans want to see them. The owner wants to see them. They pay them a lot of money, and they're not ready. And it's, it seems like that may be the case for Johnny Manziel in Cleveland right now, where a lot of Browns fans saw him win last week, want to see what they could do again, and Mike Pettin is sitting him down this hey, week for Josh hey, McCown. It's, it's a dilemma. It really is. But, you know, I'm going to tell you, I have, a, I think, an observation that might be interesting to you on the quarterback. Sure. You know, we, we're hearing all the time this is a passing league. You know, it's quarterback. And, you know, the league's always been a quarterback league to varying degrees. But what I see now is there are some teams that are presently constructed to where, Rich, if their quarterback does not play very well, the other components on the team do not give that team a chance to win. Whereas I see a few other teams in the league that I could cite where the quarterback might not be regarded as a elite, to use the word, that's the word nowadays, mm, yes. quarterback, but he's at a, a little above average, but the surrounding components are good enough to assist him to be productive. And I think there's some teams you look around, I think Detroit's one, I think San Diego's one, I think Baltimore's headed that way. If their quarterback doesn't play well every Sunday, they're not winning. So when you look at a team like Houston, uh, Bill Parcells on the phone with me right now. Houston? With J.J. Watt uh, regarded as perhaps the best player in the league, that he could have been the MVP last year on NFL Network. He was voted by his peers the top player in the NFL, if you were given a choice between Watt and, let's say, one of the great young quarterbacks in this league to build a team around right now, who would you choose, Coach, to do that? I would take the quarterback because it's an essential position, but I would not want to take an average quarterback over J.J. Watt. I want to take a top quarterback over J.J. Watt. And the problem with that, Rich, is some of these quarterbacks have attributes that you can't see that allow their careers to flourish. And there are others that have attributes that you can't see that act as a deterrent to that career effectiveness. How do you and a... those are the things yeah. that are the most difficult thing. And you know what? Don't get me started on these quarterbacks. They get they get lauded in the draft. You guys do it on NFL network. You build it up, you build it up, and pretty soon they got, oh, I'm going to be a high pick. He's pretty important. I'm pretty important. And then the next thing is the apparel companies and the uh, power drink companies and Subway sandwiches, they don't want to miss the next Pey- Peyton Manning. So they reinforce that importance to the player by going after him and, and giving him these endorsements. And then he really thinks he's important. And then the agent comes along and he says, we got to build our brand. So what's the solution? That's is... one step from the bus station. <laughs> so what's the solution in getting these quarterbacks well, ready? Why don't you take a look at Andrew Luck? You don't see him doing any of that stuff, do you? Certainly not the first few years of his career. That's right. That's exactly right. Because somebody told him, his father, here's what we're doing. But I'm just telling you, it's happened. To, it's, I can list them. There's five, six in the last three or four years. They're high chill picks. They're lauded. They're paid money. They're, they give up draft choices for them. The apparel companies want them. The power drink companies want them. And they forget they got to play. They're too busy building their brand. They got to play. Would you... And that's why Romo's had a good career, because that didn't happen to him. He had, to, he had to grind his way onto the team. He didn't even think he was going to make it. We had four quarterbacks. We didn't have an issue with one of them. He might not have made it. So would you throw RG3 in that mix? The one that you're sure, but what would I? Poster boy. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern. On audience.